Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to my channel. My name isn't Degeneration X, but it certainly is Captain Crush. And if you're new here, what I do is cover fantasy sports for prize picks, underdog, chalkboard, sleeper, and even some draft kings. I cover it all. My goal is to make you a better fantasy sports player, which is what these sites like us to call it. These player propositions, these stats, if you will. We will find which ones are good to take, which ones to fade, and which ones give us the best chance to win. So so today, I have about two NBA plays that I think you should strongly consider for your contests, and then I have about two to three NFL plays that you should also be considering. Folks, when we get a Monday night football game and a five-game NBA slate, it's like Christmas morning. You can do three and three for your six legs, you can do two and three, two and three for the other way, two and two, all the ways one and four, it's dealer's choice. You get to decide, but you don't have to be just on NBA or just on NFL, you can mix them both in the mix so speaking of nfl how'd we do yesterday well buddy my brother in christ we had a day yesterday i was able to get out with a few w's it could have been a massive day but of course you guys know how it is it's always the sixth leg it's always that last guy i had jalen warren's fantasy in my nuke he was the only one that missed in the end so i took the 2x as i'll have posted up here and then i had a 10x slip that was able to come through it went 10x but of course it wasn't the nuke slip and then i I had my final six leg, Mr. Diggs. That game was a barn burner. It went into overtime. It was literally an amazing game to watch in a monsoon. And all we needed, all we needed was Diggs to get seven receiving yards in overtime. He dropped both of his targets, both of his passes. You hate to see it. So again, another 2X as you can see here, but it's all right because I will take 2X any day of the week and we always will take it on Sunday. And if you're curious as to where I post my slips, if you're already in my Discord, as you can see here on this left tab, it's general chat where everyone hangs out and then there's captain slips. That is where I post my slips. These were posted yesterday. That one cashed. This is the one that went for 10X. This one, Barkley sold. Uh, this one went for 2X. Every, or I'm sorry, it went three of five. No, it went for 2X. Tank sold his receiving yards. That's right. And then this was my nuke that doubled up Jalen Warren. He was the one that missed. He fumbled early and then he just surrendered. Najee Harris got most of the work. But again, this is my Discord. And you can go to CaptainCrush.net to get in there. I post model projections. I do live streams and I post my slips and a list of plays for every sport, NFL and NBA, I should say every single day so since it's cyber monday if you're over there and you want 10 percent off i guess use code fuzzy i had that set up for my former boy but now you can use it code fuzzy it'll get you 10 percent off it's not much but it's only $25, so giving you $2.50 off seems like the right thing to do. I mean, whatever. Get it or don't, I'm still here to crush. I got a great community. We crush. So let's talk about today. Jordan Poole. The other day was a late scratch. 30 minutes before lock? No, a minute after lock. What in the world are they doing? It was terrible for DraftKings, but the fact still remains. Jordan Poole, he's in the closest spread on the slate today. 117 implied team point total for both teams. You love to see it, but it's Jordan Poole. You know he's a salesman on the side, right? He carries his briefcase. He walks up to your door. Ring! Ding! It's me, Jordan Poole. I'm here to sell you something today. That's what he does. But I'm telling you right now, if I were to take less on Jordan Poole today, he's soaring over. So I'm going to take more. Model has him projected for 21. It's not something that I love. In fact, if you don't want to take his points, you can go to his crispy fantasy score at 29. I got him at 0.98 fantasy points per minute, but he has a high usage rate. Let me slide over to the notepad. My God in heaven, the notepad saved me because I don't have it memorized. Here it is. 0.98 fantasy points per minute with a 29% usage rate. The man has the ball in his hands a lot. No pause required. Okay. So the last three games, he's chucked it up 20 plus times. That's what we need from Jordan Poole. This is the Jordan Poole we know and hate. I mean, love, you know what I mean? This is the Jordan Poole that we can get to cover. He shoots 20 times with no care in the world and hopefully they fall in the hoop. So that is why I'm targeting Jordan Poole. It's a close spread. I think that maybe he's found his shot unlikely but i'm just gonna trust my model here i will say this the one thing that stinks if you will 
is that he's coming back from an ankle injury in his warmups, and you hate to hear and see that, but this is the world we live in, so I'm gonna go ahead and target him. If I can't sell you on Jordan Poole, I don't blame you. Take the unders. You won't, you'll probably be a long-term winner, but the Jordan Poole and Cade Cunningham, that is a good combo prop more. For those of you that are stuck in Alabama, 43 and a half points for Poole and Cunningham. I love it. If we can get Cade to chuck up 20 plus shots, bang, bang. And Poole to chuck up 21 shots, bang, bang. That, my friend, should cash. That's what we need. Both of them chuck, and we need you to chuck. That's it. And it's a close spread tonight. So I like it. It's 234 point total, and it's it's literally like a pick'em game. So let's go. Boys, come through tonight. We're dependent on you. So either one of those three you can target. I don't hate it. I just think you need to have some exposure to those guys, okay? And in that same coin, if you want some positive correlation, you can throw Tyus Jones more five and a half assists. This one is scary, but I'm trusting the model. Model has him going for just under seven, and it's minus 135 across the books. So we're getting crispy value here. I love to see it. Detroit, they're not a threat. So that would be something you could consider running it back. There's not a lot of props on the board. I waited and waited, but the people have spoken. They want Captain Crush's YouTube. There's been a couple of bumps since then, unfortunately, but it doesn't matter, guys. I avoid the tight lines anyways, usually for the YouTube. Speaking of Cade Cunningham, his fantasy score, probably the most risky, but it's in play. Got him projected for 42, three-point differential. But I something that I like even more than just his fantasy score is going to be his points assist at 32 why it gives us that push equity he's another guy just like pool he's gonna chuck up 20 plus shots hopefully maybe usually but is it going to fall in the hoop we don't know sometimes he'll facilitate sometimes he does it all so you can target his fantasy score but i like him as the 1v1 bring back for that game okay so it's in play it's not a core play by any means moving right along let's talk about the man the former mvp joel Embiid. listen to me carefully i've been targeting this man's assists at five then it moved to five and a half and now the way it's all the way up to six my model still has him projected to go over six assists okay he's still projected to go over six and at worst it should push so i wanted to talk about this because i've been riding this train all season long and it's been cashing me look at the last five look at this Green Bean 95987. His floor is pretty much three. It's unreal what he's been doing as a facilitator given his size and ability in the offense to score points, but I think it's in play. I also like his fantasy score, even though it's 58. This should be a premier game on the slate, okay? Philly versus Lakers. It's a rivalry like nobody's heard of. East versus West and Bede versus Anthony Davis. Folks, this should be a good one, okay? Let's hope that it is. Either one of those I would target. Even his rebounds plus assists. At 17 and a half is solid one thing i will say his points it's starting to get up there it's usually at 30 31 32 he got 35 last game right but he got like six points in garbage time it was 30 seconds left it was a nine point game and then in 30 seconds it became a three point game and all the unders i had for that game ended up going over it was the most tilting thing giddy got an assist with like literally a second left but he went over his points last time but don't let that fool you if you want to target less on his points here, I think this is a great sneaky play. I don't think I've seen anyone talk about it today. Not that I know of, but I do like Joel Embiid, but I think his point total is a little bit too high. I think it should be at 31 or 31 and a half. He's going to need to get 33 here to beat you. So I honestly like this play a lot, even more than I like the six assists, but I do like them both. I do like how they do have push equity just in case they don't truly cover. You have a chance to push and anytime Captain Crush gets push equity, it's a like great thing brother so let's keep our feet firing and see what else we can dig out of this dumpster because i'm telling you ever since the holidays this has been feeling like dumpster diving i don't know what it is folks but it's just it's not hit it's not like they turned off the music and captain crush is still dancing around trying to find a chair you hate to see it so let's keep going anthony davis my goodness those of you in the discord buddy i gave you some solid value he was at 47 they hiked him up to 48 you know he's in play like I said, as much as I like Joel Embiid, I don't think that he's a threat for defensive purposes. So Anthony Davis could and should eat in this matchup. But something that I like even more than AD's fantasy, I'm going right back to him, folks. I'm sorry. He's been selling like he's Jordan Poole, but the GOAT. 
25 and a half points. It hasn't really been his fault. The other day, he shot six for 22 or something crazy. Something that should have been in the newspaper, front news page. LeBron James shoots six for 22. That's so rare, it might as well be a diamond. It never happens, okay? It never happens. So I'm going right back to the GOAT. 25 and a half points. Give me more or give me nothing. James, I need you to come out tonight and I need you to crush. You've been selling me and the boys and we need to recoup our coin. The question is, LeBron, do you respect coin? Michael Jordan respects coin. Do you respect coin? Okay, it's a rhetorical question, but LeBron, if you respect our coin, go out there tonight and show them who's boss. Do something, okay? Go off. It's Cyber Monday, and we need you to play like a robot. Your boy's trying to get that tonal home gym that you advertise. I need coin. Go out there and crush so I can print my money. Let's go. Now, there's two more people that I'm going to talk about here. Absolutely. Actually, I'm going to talk about three people okay I, I gotta give you I gotta give the people three they don't have any of the Denver Nuggets props because Gordon got ruled out but I had Michael Porter Jr. at 29 and a half fantasy so if he comes back and he comes in anywhere near there buddy take it DeAndre Ayton versus the Pacers the only thing that scares me about this game is the spread it's a 10 point blowout spread but Ayton's in play Bruce Brown's in play Tyrese Halliburton 50 and a half fantasy score that's a big number man who are you Shy Alexander no you're not but it's in play I like it I like his assist too at 12 I'm crazy like that Miles Turner this was at 34 and a half he probably would have been the play of the day on this video and then they bumped it to 35 but I got it in the discord list early for you folks so it's there so either one of these gentlemen are in play remember I like Tyrese's assists better than I do his fantasy score even at 12 it's crazy 10 16 16 3 15 he has a floor of basically 10 but here's the deal this game should and could be a blowout that's the scary part about it so I say with caution they're darts they're not core plays but they're absolutely in play that spread we can't be subservient to it you never know we can't try to predict blowouts folks because when you start doing in that it's just gonna drive you crazy you take unders on guys that should be going under in a blowout and the next thing you know they're losing the game and you've lost your coin you're back at the blood bank giving plasma trying to get a new slip you know what i'm saying i know you know what i'm saying bro we've all been there so the next guy i'm gonna talk about is the beard fella i take under on you you soar over i take over on you you soar under Neek was just saying this in the chat the other day or today or something like that, and I 100% agree. I can't seem to get the beard right. His fantasy score was at 34 and a half about an hour ago, and it looked like a steal. Now it's at 35 and a half, and I still like it. I think he's capable of a 37 piece, so I'm going to target him. I'm going to mention him. If you want to go to his assist, he's been facilitating like nobody's business. You can always go to that. I think something that's absolutely crazy. Look at this. Look at this. Let me find it. Some of you young heads may never have seen this in your lifetimes but look at this 14 and a half points for James Harden my brother's in Christ he used to be in the 28s to 30s like two years ago it's, it's crazy how the mighty have fallen granted he's in a new offense he's he's spreading the ball around and everything but still 14 and a half points for James Harden is just so hard to get my mind around it my model doesn't even think that's crazy it's a it has him going for 18 tonight so if you want to take a gamble on James Harden's points I wouldn't begrudge you a bit he's always going to be in play folks he's just he's not that guy anymore he's just not but i mean come on james 14 and a half points brother you gotta step up this is they're starting to insult you my man let's go go off tonight i need you for fantasy and then michael porter jr they did add him 18 and a half points book it i like it a lot no aaron gordon i want his fantasy score but you can always target his points joker he's in play but i wouldn't target 30 and a half points that seems like a lot this game right here jonas valanchunas versus the utah Jazz okay what can i say about this game other than it never goes how you think it's gonna go it's insanity ingram his points his fantasy score it's in play the problem is someone's gonna get blown out is it gonna be the pelicans or is it gonna be the utah i don't know but i'll tell you one thing about mr jonas valanchunas the man got 18 fantasy points in three minutes the other day and then he finished with 25. It's unheard of. He wasn't in foul trouble. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why the coach, his whole career, I can never count on Jonas Valanciunas to get 35 minutes. But I'm telling you right now, if I fade him or take under, he's going to put up a 50 burger. So I have to have some exposure. As much as I hate it, I have to do it. So you could go to his points, his points rebounds, maybe a fantasy score if they put it up. I don't like it. I like Ingram more. But again, I'm afraid of the blowout in both of these scenarios. Same thing with John Collins. 
His line was just at 14 and a half the other day. Now it's down to 13 and a half because of two stinkers. He's in play, folks. That's what you want to do. Buy low and sell high. Keontae George at 12 and a half points. He's in play. Dart throws. Clarkson. Clarkson's been selling the bag. Look at this. 13-7, 22-37-30. He got 13 points and seven points with three of their main guys out. Markinen and those guys were out, and he still couldn't get it done. The man doesn't respect coin. If he respected coin, I would tell you guys to take him, but he doesn't respect coin, so I will let you decide that. You guys choose your own fate, but this man right here, I got his line at 14 and a half. Then they moved it to 15, and now it's at 15 and a half. He's in an elite matchup. He's st absolutely still in play. I don't know if I would advocate taking it at 15 and a half, but my brother in Christ, you can always take your fanny over to chalkboard and get alternate lines. That's right. Alternate lines. You can take it over on chalkboard and you can probably get them at 13. So before I go over to NFL, there's one more guy that I want to talk about. This guy is all over Twitter like fly on stink. The Anthony Melton. My God, it's 2023 and I got to talk about D Melton. What is this? What's up with this? I will say this, since he's been in this new position, this new role that he's in, which is basically a higher usage role for him than I've ever seen, he's been getting it done. The question become, he was at 21 and a half. Do you eat the bump? Look at this, 26, 25, 22, 27, 23. Some of you would say that's been a wagon, but if he hasn't been cashing you, I would stay away. If he's been cashing you, then go ahead, do your thing. All of these are in play. I have him projected right around these numbers in my model, but I know he's a community favorite, so I felt I should mention him at least, give my take on it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just mid for me. I'll probably have some exposure to it, but Melton's that guy that the second you get cute and comfortable with it, he sells. So buyer beware, seller beware. So I talked about everything that I'm going to cover on YouTube for NBA, but there is that Monday night game tonight, friends, and you know how much Captain loves NFL. They just started putting up these fantasy scores and let me tell you right now off the gate i haven't even looked at this yet model wise but bang both of these are in play both of these guys have passing upside rushing upside rush td upside that is what you want hopefully this game is good tonight folks because we have two qbs that can get electric anytime they're on the did i just say court i meant to say field my mind's on nba but the fact of the matter is this both of these guys and this is for logan he is a vikings truther and he says Dobbs is going out there tonight and crushing. So maybe Logan's right. Maybe he's wrong. I'll have to check my projections. I already put them out in the court, but I forget what it was. But I know that both of those, just by looking at it off the top of my head, they're in play. But what do I like even more? I like Justin Fields rushing yards. Why? Because he's a running back. He's a running back that plays quarterback. He's there's the, him when it comes to it. He can sneak out of the pocket and run for 20 yards anytime. The game gets ugly and the Vikings drop into the prevent. I like it even more. If you don't want to take those rush yards, you can take his attempts. It is a Monday night game. And what does Captain always say about Monday night games? The kickers, buddy. Greg Joseph, six and a half fantasy score. And even Mr. Santos fantasy score are 100% in play. You already knew it was coming. The kickers, the punters, it's in play. Both of these guys, their field goals made. Their field goals, everything. I like it. I love it. They're always going to be in play on showdown slates. It's just a beautiful thing. My favorite play, though, for NFL isn't on prize picks. It's not here why because prize picks is selling me okay dj Moore over four and a half receptions i love that and i also love tj hawkinson at six receptions but cap they're not on prize picks no fear my brother i got you this is why we're going over to chalkboard and check this out Ooh, it's crispy we got tj hawkinson i took the alternate line at five and a half receptions give it to me it's not even on prize picks yet but when it gets on there it's gonna be six and a half nope i think he's getting six catches he's gonna bring it into the clutch i'm taking five and a half dj Moore, five and a half on prize picks and eh, eh, four and a half on chalkboard alternate line season jordan pool 18 and a half points on prize picks cap said nope I'll take 15 and a half. Thank you, sir. And Jordan Addison, 47 fan, 47 receiving yards on prize picks. And I got 29 and a half receiving yards. That's two catches with his A dot. Are you kidding me? This is chalkboard. This is the beauty of chalkboard. I had a dude in my discord yesterday win 5K on chalkboard. The crazy SOB. I forget his name in there. I'm sorry, bro. You're a newer member, so I forget your name. But he tailed the cap. He took the list and he took 1K bet that crazy SOB and he turned it into 
5k i give you a salute brother you made the tube and he literally crushed it but he had some alternate lines in there and he didn't get greedy okay you give up some payout equity but look at this 20 to win 78 that's fine if you win 78 from 20 you're fine okay it's almost 4x not quite but these lines are beautiful it's a beautiful thing so you the viewer get over on chalkboard use promo code crush they'll match your first deposit and i give you a free 30 days in my discord courtesy from me to you everybody wins but me really but i know if you're in my court for 30 days you'll want to stick around that is why i do that promotion okay you'll see that i'm giving value i give more value for a discord at 20 than any other capper i'm telling you right now live streams model projections lists 24 7 feedback basically i take some days off but i never take off as far as list plays and projections go that's a fact ask them so that's where you can get all those crispy lines look at this we're getting a one point discount give it to me on chalkboard my brother but as these fantasy scores start trickling in i'll be covering them in the live stream today via discord live that is going to be there for you guys remember what i said about these kickers also one last thing khalil herbert coming back from injury i don't think he's 100 percent the vikings do not give up a lot of yards to running backs one thing you could do is this less at 66 and a half rush plus receiving yards i think this is a solid play madison i'm not sure what i'm gonna do here my model projects him to go under here but i'm not sure i think if i was to take under he would soar over i don't know what the deal is with chandler and madison who's gonna be getting all the usage i'm waiting and seeing both of these guys my lean is over to be honest with you even though my model would take me to be under look at this 42 and a half rushing yards for madison against the bears might as well be criminal i'm not sure what i'm gonna do here so i'm not telling you to take it but that's something you need to be on the lookout for. and with that i'm gonna wrap this thing up it's already late it's almost three central as it is and i gotta get going CaptainCrush.net gets you in the cord we'll have that live stream around 4 p.m central today where i'll make slips we'll cover it all it gives you all my model projections my actual model website's being built and soon you'll all have access Access to it and it'll be a beautiful thing but for now this is what we got and i'm releasing it via the discord if you want to get there just captaincrush.net folks i appreciate you coming in if you're new to my channel i do youtube videos probably five or six days a week smash that like button give me a subscribe i'm trying to get to 10k subs when i get to 10k subs it's giveaway time and who doesn't love a giveaway remember if you're new to the cord you can get code fuzzy use promo code fuzzy on dub club so remember you just click that it'll take you to the dub club website and then fuzzy code will give you 10 percent off it's f-u-z-z-y -Z i know it doesn't make sense it's a long story but i'm giving you 10 percent off for cyber monday if i gave you anything else i'd be giving it away come on man so Good luck in all your contests tonight. Here's the salute. I appreciate each and every one of you. And tonight, my brother in Christ, my buddy, let's crush.